how I did it. Pace of aging of 0.72. Seems there was some interest regarding my epigenetic pace of aging test coming out at 0.72 in this 59 year old body. I'm new to YouTube and only have a handful of subscribers and I got over a thousand views in a few days surprisingly. I put a link to the test results video in the details. So I figured it would be a good idea to do a follow-up video with an explanation of how I achieved these results. Anyone working on slowing down their rate of aging is always looking for some tips on how to get the rate as low as possible. Generally we know the basics of how to lower our speed of aging, but it can get confusing when you go down the rabbit hole of this subject matter. Listening to all the so-called experts, influencers, and doctors bombards us with so much information to where it can steer us away from the tactics that really matter. Well, here it is, how I see it. I'm currently more than 59 and a half years old. It's October and I'll be 60 in March. I really didn't even get proactive on my health till I hit 55. So there was some damage inflicted. I ran my health complacently with marginal focus on trying to eat healthy. I was active, but it didn't exercise for the sake of exercise. I started having some health issues at 55. That's when all hell broke loose. I had painful arthritis in my hands and neck, pinched nerve in my neck making my left arm numb and painful enough where it was hard to sleep. I had a bad meniscus tear in my right knee, my hair was falling out, and I had some dental issues that put me in the hospital from a very bad infection. I was in a general state of degradation. This woke me up to the fact that I should really do something proactive instead of just riding the wave into the abyss of hurt. My regimen was a scale-in operation till about the beginning of this year. Since then, my tactics have been the same. I won't waste your time about how I scaled in. I'll just tell you where I'm at now. It's important that you look at this as a whole concept and not get hung up on the details. The general concept will get you most of the way there. I'm going to describe this just as that in general terms because I truly believe that this is the way it works. You are different from me. You'll never do everything I do. Your body and environment are different. You have different tastes and mindset. The human anatomy in a general sense is the same in both of us. Our bodies are adaptable and can achieve the same results with different health regimens if they target the optimal needs required. For example, for heart health, it's good to get your heart rate up with exercise. Then there's many ways to do that. For nutrition, we can fulfill our body's needs in many ways. What we can stick to and be consistent on is what's good for us. It's got to be enjoyable or at least bearable. Otherwise, we'll stop doing what's optimal. Okay, first up is my diet. I'm an omnivore, Mediterranean-ish, zero process, low carb, no added sugar, two meals per day, zero snacking. My diet is fairly consistent. I try to eat organic and natural as much as possible with either plant or animal. For my breakfast, I eat the same damn thing every day. Two cups of black coffee, three boiled eggs, handful of walnuts, handful of pecans, smoothie with avocado mixed with fruit, preferably from our garden, but store-bought otherwise, organic if possible. 
that would be like blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, peach, apple, etc. Then I put in some chia seeds, grass-fed milk, Greek yogurt, and some almonds. I grind it up in a ninja. This rides me out till dinner time. I don't snack in between. I just drink water with a splash of lime. About 4 p.m. I'll usually have a black iced coffee. By the way, coffee is an appetite suppressant. Dinner time, I always have a ginormous salad with mixed greens, cucumbers, tomato, three kinds of olives and mushrooms. I top it off with extra virgin olive oil and malt vinegar. For a meat protein, it could be either of these, the most common first, chicken, codfish, beef, squid or pork. Sometimes I'll have shrimp or mackerel. Meat portions are about palm sized or a fish, maybe one and a half to two palms. These are all cooked in a health conscious way. The only oils that we cook with are extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil. I like a side dish of broccoli or Brussels sprouts or something like that. Sometimes I have a potato or rice. Sometimes I have homemade chicken soup or stir fry. We season our dishes with healthy additions like garlic, salt and pepper, or various peppers and onions to that effect. I just drink water with my meal. This is what I stick to, a clean, simple diet, boring but effective. I don't do desserts. I could, but it's something that doesn't really get me excited. Maybe I'll try a bite of something when it's offered. If I go out with friends to a restaurant, I'll pick something healthy from the menu. It seems there's always something available that can inflict minimal damage. I've been scaling out of alcohol. I no longer have alcohol at home. When I go out with friends for dinner, I'll order a non-alcoholic beer. If they don't have any, sometimes I'll get a regular IPA with alcohol or maybe a glass of Pinot Noir. So for the most part, I don't really drink. I feel it's for the best for me. I used to pound my fair share of booze. That's a general overview of the diet portion of my regimen. My exercise routine is of moderate intensity. I aim for five days a week. I feel this is good for me and I can stay with it. This routine emphasizes flexibility, stamina, and heart rate. I have two types of sets. First one works on arms and stretches. The second one works on abs, legs, neck, and stretches. I do three arm days and two days of the other set. My arm day is my max heart rate and breathing day. This gets me to the point where I feel out of breath, like I'm getting chased by a lion that wants to chow on me. I feel this is really a needle mover for the epigenetic aging pace. I do one minute holds on the pull up bar with elbows locked at 90 degrees, like this two reps. I'm taking a break from regular pull-ups because I got too heavy on those and I'm trying to give my sore shoulder a break. Then it's 60 standard push-ups, 60 diamond push-ups, and 40 chair dips. I do a push-up low hold with feet elevated for one minute. This is all followed by my daily stretching routine. I posted a link for that. It helps stop or reverse turkey neck too. At the end, I do 22 Buddhist bows, which is a great thing to do every day. Then I wrap it up with a 15 minute session on an inversion table. I like to use the inversion table every day. It's got its hidden longevity benefits I'll be going into that with a future video. 
I'll link it here if I remember to. For my leg and ab days, I start out on a mat. What used to be 60 weighted sit-ups is now a low hold weighted sit-up. 10 reps for a 20 count with a 15 pound dumbbell held behind my head. I rise up for a sit up and then I lay back as low as I can get and I hold there for a 20 count. And I do that 10 times. And then I do mat leg lifts for the abs, 40 reps. Then onto one legged toe raised half squats. 100 reps per leg. I have two by the way because I'm not a pirate. Then it's lunges, 100 reps per leg. Then my stretch routine with the link I previously mentioned on this day I go heavy targeting my neck muscles which is explained in the video. Then I wrap it up with my bows and an inversion table. It's pretty effective routine that I do not need to go to the gym for. I do some hiking with a dog too and I'm physically active. The main thing about my routine is that it targets a good range of body maintenance needs. Running it through all the gears without overstressing it. Okay, on to fasting, which I'm very consistent with. I eat two meals per day with a diet previously mentioned. I like to do a 16-8 eating schedule. But if my day's commitments conflict with that, it gets thrown off schedule, but I try my best. I do a 24 hour fast once a week, nothing but water and black coffee in the midst. Once a month, I do a 72 hour fast. I have adapted to this fasting routine. The more you do it, the easier it gets. I had to scale in. You can't jump right into 72 hours in the beginning. It would be like hell. Okay, on to supplements. I won't go into brands and dosages here because I change it up from time to time, but I'll list off my current supplements. You can research them and decide for yourself. Collagen peptides, creatine, a good quality multivitamin, L-proline, L-arginine, L-lysine, saw palmetto, glycine, taurine, hyaluronic acid, omega-3 fish oil, glucosamine, lutein, turmeric, magnesium glycinate, a zinc copper combo, vitamin C, K2 D3, CoQ10, ashwagandha. These are all basic supplements, nothing crazy. I used to take NMN till the FDA controversy set in. I may go back to it or something NAD, we'll see. I feel I'm getting my supplements for free due to cutting down to two meals per day instead of three, plus all the snacks and alcohol I cut out. Supplements are this thing that can fill in some holes that we may be missing, possibly give us a boost. Best to get as much of your nutrients from real food and not expect supplements to do the work where quality food would. Regarding sleep, this is something I'm working on. I have no trouble falling asleep, but maybe halfway through the night, I find myself tossing and turning and it's a work in progress. My mindset is positive and I don't stress out. I feel gratitude for every day that I live. Based on the regiment that I mentioned, I feel strongly about the basic overview as follows as having the biggest effect on my pace of aging. A very clean, unprocessed diet full body exercise that moved me through all the gears with the lion chasing effect. Caloric restriction with consistent fasting. These are the needle movers. Of course, you're going to hear some companies or influencer claims, but 
Where there's money involved, well, you know how that works. Work on the basics and it will get you in the goal zone. You can add in supplement extras, but you want to put in the known effective work to see the results. Supplements are not going to replace the work you need to do. That's a basic overview of what I do. If you want to know more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like. That will inspire me to post more if people are interested. Thank you for watching.